what is your definition of brand? How do you internalize that? And how do you like kind of put that out in a, in a feel and a look type of aspect? Yeah. And, and that's actually a really good question. Um, especially with what you have going on. Um, so quick story when, when I was younger, uh, you know, we would grow up, uh, with, uh, World hip hop, world star hip hop, and we would, you know, that's the site you'd always go to. You'd always check out, uh, you know, what what's going on in that site. And uh, if you remember, if you ever saw it, you know, that's the site where people would always, you know, scream out in the videos, "Yo, world star, world star." And I would always, you know, think I was like, man, I it would it would really be like the best thing ever if when people are recording videos, you know, they're yelling out like Subway creatures, what is New York. And that, you know, that from a branding standpoint, that's when you kind of know, you know, people are actually yelling out your name. People you don't know or are affiliated with are yelling out your name in, in videos. And I wouldn't say that it got to like the world star point where people, you know, there's like a fight and like people are yelling it out. <laughs> However, there's been multiple times. Uh, and, and again, it's just a, it's, it's a really great feeling, but people will be recording something. And in the background, you hear someone going, oh, my God, you have to send this to Subway Creatures or, oh, my God, you have to send this to What is New York? And, you know, that's a really, like, proud moment for me when when I do hear that, because I don't know who these people are. But their first thought while they're recording something is I can't wait to send this to this page. And, you know, it's a, it's a, like I said, it's a really great feeling. Um, and, you know, I always try to, like, use those clips because from a branding standpoint, you know, when you post that video – if someone else comes along and reposts that video, now you have the audio kind of burned into it where someone's saying, I want to send this to Subway Creatures. So, you know, from a branding standpoint, that's great. I currently have a deal, uh, which is 100% nonprofit uh, based around exactly that philosophy, that it, that is just a branding move. Um, I work with Curb, which is basically the Uber for the yellow cabs in New York City. Yeah. What we do is... Uh, if you get into a cab, one of the first things you'll see is Subway Creatures or What is New York. And we have my host on there. And he basically pops up over a viral video. He'll give some commentary on it. It's only a 30-second spot. But the, the main thing for me, you know, again, we're not making money off of that or we're not paying any money either. But what we're doing is now people are affiliating my brand in New York City Yellow Caps. And – you know, that is super important too. It's just another place where, uh, you know, your brand can reach uh, on a media standpoint and it can reach an audience, which is mainly going to be New Yorkers. Um, and even if it's not, that's even better. You know, you're reaching people who may not even know your page is. But yeah. again, what it's doing is subliminally putting that name in their head. So even though they may not be paying attention, they're going to see my logo, they'll hear the names. And at some point or another, if they hear that name again, they go, why do I know that name? Oh, my God, that was in the cab when I was going to the airport or, oh, you know, I came across that account. It got recommended on Instagram or whatever the platform may be. So uh, branding is super, super important for, you know, for any company. But there's obviously different ways to go about it. Mine's a little more guerrilla, you know, style. Um, but it, it's it's also like feet on the ground kind of uh branding where, you know, it's, it's word of mouth a lot of the time. Uh, you know, I also work with, uh, media outlets a lot of the time. So what I mean by that is, you know, let's take, for example, uh, you know, we had that really bad rainstorm a couple of weeks ago where there was really bad flooding in New York. Um, yeah. you know, everyone submits videos to me, you know, and what we do, um, from a business perspective, we take over the rights to those videos and we manage the rights to those videos. So let's yeah. say, Let's say you send us a video of something that you captured. You're on the bus. The bus is trying to drive through flooded water. And all of a sudden, the water starts pouring on the bus. You're taking that video. You send it into me. What we do is we take over the rights. We manage them. We send those videos out. Um, and if there's any news broadcast, if there's any kind of uh, you know shows like Ridiculousness or documentaries that may be talking about something that's relevant to, that happens in the video – you know, they'll have to pay us for the video. What we do is we turn around and we pay you 50% of any proceeds we make off of that video. And that also goes in perpetuity, which means as long as that video exists, you're always going to be making money from anything that we sell. So 
it's an incentive for you to continue to to send in where otherwise of it's a video that you may not it may not ever see the light of day no one would yeah. see it other than you so it kind of everyone wins but where i was going from the branding standpoint is then what happens is the you know let's say cbs news abc news nbc they'll reach out and say hey you know we're doing a package on tonight's five o'clock news uh, we want to highlight uh, some of the flooding that happened in the city. We want to use your videos. Now, when that video pops up on the screen, it's going to say courtesy, what is New York, courtesy Subway Creatures. So now your brand is reaching, you know, a, again, another demographic or another audience that, again, may not see it. So now, if you're a New Yorker, you're now seeing my brand on the news. You're seeing it in cabs. You're seeing it on social media. So, you know, branding – like you mentioned, it, it comes in many different ways. But for me, from a social media perspective and as a social media company and a digital media brand, it's it's a little different and you got to kind of get creative with how you get it out there. But uh, that's those are some of the most effective ways that I've I've found, uh, you know, it, it's effective and it works getting my my name out there. That is incredible. There's there's a few parts of it that I want to dive into. The the first part is, you know, you talked about the first part has to do with the naming because you talked about, you know, subway creatures. You were getting a lot of videos that you felt like weren't necessarily in the subway. So you wanted to create a new brand around that. And then you kind of have replicated that that process multiple times. So for you, right. it seems like you have a very clear do's or don'ts when it comes to a specific brand. So. I guess, how do you process that? How do you protect your brand? Or maybe what are some of the do's and don'ts that go through your mind when it comes to, is this on brand or is this off brand? For sure. Um, so let me just start with the name. So the name Subway Creatures, I, when I was coming up with the idea for this account, uh, again, way back, there was, there was no other accounts like it. I always thought, and again, this might be a little archaic for your audience, but there used to be a time on television where there was a TV guide and you would go through and it would just tell you what's playing on every every station. And what what happened was, you know, whenever I was on it, I would always scroll through and even whether I knew what it was or not, I would kind of always find myself clicking on the things that seemed the most interesting. What's the name that kind of stood out to me? And I always remember thinking, like, what's a name that would be on that TV guide where I would be like, I got to stop and I got to look at what is what is that show? What is happening on that station? Like, And then I was like, bam, Subway Creatures. It kind of came to me naturally. And I was like, wow, that's the name that if I was going through TV guide, I would be like, this is absolutely uh, something that I need to uh, click on. So that yeah. was that was part of what goes behind the name. Now negatives to that uh you're talking about a name called subway creatures now there's a lot of brands that may not want to be affiliated with a brand name that's called subway creatures i've had that work against me in the past uh there are some companies that don't you know they they just don't ignore the numbers and they're like we don't really care what the brand's called people love it and it gets a lot of views that's all we care about there are other companies that are like Branding and, and name titles mean a lot for us. You know, we are, you know, a food company. We don't necessarily want to be affiliated with a thing called creatures, which could involve rats, could involve, you know, any kind of weird animals that you find in Subway. Like, you know, it may not click for them. So, you know, that's understandable. Um, but as far as working with brands, you know, that's that's now that's a brand coming to me. And, and what, how they may view my brand. Now, when I'm looking at these brands, what I'm coming from my perspective is it has to be something, I hate to use the, uh, the term and the definition, but it has to be on brand for my account, which means yeah. we're not going to post advertising of like a Viagra commercial of a guy running through a field, you know, you know, it just makes no sense. Um, you know, don't get me wrong. Every once in a while, there are brands that come along with these massive budgets where you're like, oh, you know, maybe we can make something work. <laughs> um, but 
you know, I, I have to stay true to what I started out to do. And, you know, you obviously need to, you know, pay rent every month. So you, you, you got to find branding deals here and there. You got to find revenue streams. And, and, you know, there are some brands that are either very New York or very on brand with the subway or the page. What is New York? You know, something that's very relatable to everyone. So that, you know, you have a lot of these brands like uh, Open Igloo, who I work with, who is basically a Yelp review for tenants and they get to rate their landlords. So if you're oh, moving wow. into a building, you get to read about all these reviews about the landlord. So, hey, is this a good landlord? Is this a bad landlord? You know, what are some of the problems these people incurred while they were living there? That's perfect for what is New York. Yeah, or, of course. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a lottery company I work with, Jack Pocket, you know. Um, it, it's just right on brand, you know, cause what they want to do is they want to be able to use the content that we post anyway and say, you know, maybe we'll say something in a caption that says like New Yorkers need a vacation, you know, to afford that vacation, let's play the lottery and win the lottery and we'll get, we'll go away, you know? And then maybe what I'll do is I'll post a carousel on Instagram of New Yorkers just having a tough go at it. You know, a car driving on a flat tire, maybe a car getting towed. Uh, you know, someone on the sidewalk and, you know, a puddle splashes, a car splashes water on them, you know, just people kind of in a stressed out environment that might work for something like that, <laughs> you know, and then, and then we have our bigger, you know, the, the partnership I was mentioning before, which is curb, you're working with the, the, the cab company in New York. What's more iconic in New York than the yellow cabs. So, you know, you find things like that, that, you know, are, are relatable to people that really resonate. Um, and what's going to happen is that's also it's everyone wins. Like I said before, what, what's going to happen is that's going to work to your advantage. The, the brand or the company wins because now they have people who are engaging on content that is seeing their name in front of it. Um, and, and, you know, mainly the viewer wins because, you know, yeah, there, it, it may be a brand partnership. It may be some kind of activation, but the viewer, they're still getting quality content because it's coming from, a brand that they trust and it's also relatable stuff that you know even though it, it's an advertisement they may still want to send it to their friend because there's something funny happening in the video or something very engaging so you know it, it, it there's a lot of the time that these these kind of brand activations kind of Hello? slide on the radar a little bit so